Hey guys, today we get to talk about Hasbro's, and Hasbro has Hascon, which is a convention for, it looks like My Little Pony, Transformers, and Magic the Gathering. Now, Hascon is a great concept. I've always wondered why Hasbro doesn't have a convention, because a lot of its products, like Transformer Toys, as well as My Little Pony, uh, PonyCon, I forget what it's called, it's a convention for um, people who like My Little Pony. I've always wondered why they didn't have a convention because in the field I work in development and marketing, even like a small company of 20 people will hold a convention. So Hascon makes a lot of sense to me. Now how would this be different from like going to a Magic the Gathering GP? Uh, Magic the Gathering GPs are mostly about players and mostly about you know selling and buying Magic cards. I'm sure that vendors will also be here uh, to do that for Magic the Gathering. But the one difference is uh, the concept of a convention is that there will be a lot of cosplay. There will be a lot of interest. There will be people signing stuff. And it's not necessarily playing in, in tournament. Although I'm sure that there will be a tournament. Um, it's more like meeting people on YouTube and, you know, conventions are very hard to pull off mainly because it costs money and the returns on them, unless you're a larger company, isn't really uh, necessarily uh, direct. So having convention is great for branding and that's why everyone in development and marketing does it is because not because they expect to make money from it. A um, lot the larger conventions make a ton of money, but when you're starting off in your new convention, uh, you're probably not going to make too much money from uh, given the overhead costs. But when you're a company like Hasbro and you have resources, you have money, you can do special promos, uh, it makes a ton of sense for them to have a Magic the Gathering con with you know the My Little Ponies and the other stuff. So definitely I commend them for trying new stuff. Uh, it truly is a different Wizard of the Coast or a different Hasbro than it has been in the past. And we can see that from their reprint policies or not necessarily their reprint policies, uh, but their inventions, their masterpieces, their willingness to say, hey, this card is too expensive. Let's reprint it to Oblivion um, in a new format. So it's not exactly a reprint, but it comes very close. I like it. I like that Hasbro has decided to uh, take over Wizards of the Coast. I expect a lot of very big changes uh, in store, including Magical Digital Next, which we still don't know very much about. I'm overall very excited, uh, and the Magic the Gathering Con, if you will, is a great way for you, for our YouTubers to go to. I'm definitely going to look into going to this one. Uh, and it's a way it's a great way to meet subscribers and things of that nature without having to do a GP. So yeah, I will probably be there. Anyway, bye guys.